move our screwdriver and our resin out of the way here. We're going to mix up our Rondo. Now I'm making slow setting Rondo. And slow setting Rondo is going to be a reddish gray color. The reason why I'm doing slow setting is it's going to give me the amount of time that I need to paint it everywhere where it needs to go. Now one of the reasons why I didn't use a one-to-one -one ratio on this is because by leaving it thicker with more Bondo, it will actually adhere. And so this will stay on a vertical surface. All right, let's show you this color here. That is a mixed Rondo. Now, you can do this pretty professionally. Just take some, paint it on, be the envy of all your friends. Look, hey, I can paint with a Rondo. Or you can do what I do. Pour it out and just kind of use the brush to move it. And as you can see, it's pretty thick because I did not use a one-to-one -one ratio. So that makes it really easy to get on these vertical surfaces. And it's still thin enough where you can paint it and it will absorb into the plaster bandage. It's Candy hanging out on your Friday afternoon. And if you're in Dewayville, yeah, I'm sorry, your homecoming parade has been canceled for today. But it's going to be rescheduled for Monday, October the 12th at 4 p.m. We received that from the Dewayville ISD effects to us. So again, the Dewayville homecoming parade is going to be Monday, October the 12th, 4 p.m. See, that makes your Monday a little better. There's something cool to look forward to. Still to come this hour, we got Staying Jets and H3 of a Dead Man on Big Dog 106. So sick of the hobos Always begging for change I don't have to count a guy to work And they just sit around and get Now, one of the other fun things about Rondo is, as you can see, it's self-leveling. So, since we're using Rondo instead of fiberglass, you don't have to worry about cutting yourself anywhere on this mold. It'll be nice and smooth. You don't have to worry about sanding it. The only thing that's inconvenient about Rondo is the fact that it is sticky once it sets. What that stickiness is, is the actual resin itself. Because we didn't use any resin hardener on this, that resin is going to take extra time to harden. It actually, in effect, never does harden. It eventually just dries out. But, to fix that, for those of us that don't like handling sticky things, yes, I mean you, just take some baby powder and apply baby powder to this after it dries. As you can see, we're getting quite a bit of working time out of this batch of Rondo because it is a slow setting Rondo. And by slow setting, I mean I didn't add a whole lot of hardener. You can see how it still retains that grayish appearance with just a slight tint of red. So, the less red it is, 
the more time you have to work, obviously because the less car dirty that you applied to it. So, for anybody that's made a mother roll before, it's pretty much the same way that you make any one. The only difference between mine and everybody else's is instead of using fiberglass and resin, I use Rondo and plaster bandages. Now, you don't even have to use Rondo with this. You can actually strengthen these plaster bandages by simply adding more plaster bandages or you can use your smooth cast 320s. For the individual engrossed in McDonald's new deluxe Angus third And you can see where it's starting to set already down here. Oh, anyway, you can use smooth cast 320. You can use optical resin. Or you can actually use plaster of Paris. Now the reason why I use Rondo is because it keeps this lightweight and easy to handle. So would smooth cast resin. And aqua resin. Alright. That was really easy. We're going to let this sit for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to come out with some straight Bondo. Just to strengthen the mohawk. So you'll take some bondo and just come right across the mohawk. And right across the bottom here. Just to give those two parts some added strength. So I'll go ahead and post this up and I'll see you in about 15 minutes.